Apple's M2 Max sales are plummeting and here's why. They actually suspended M2 chip production entirely during January and February and are now manufacturing them again but only at half the quantities of the last year. The reasoning is that Mac sales are down by about 30% compared to the previous year. With many saying that M2 chips just don't bring enough to the table to upgrade from M1. And speaking of the M1, those chips were a massive success coming from the hot and powerful hungry intel chips which would immediately blast their fan as soon as you started doing something even slightly demanding like playing tetris or following this channel so most people that were gonna upgrade probably bought the m1 max and are now also probably good for a few more years before they need to upgrade Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you are having a nice day. We have another Apple story in front of us today. So this is obviously going to get a lot of coverage because it's Apple and their sales are down dramatically for their M2 Max. Uh, now I'm going to be going through a few comments over here because I think they encapsulate the whole situation very well. Uh, so this person says, is this not merely a case of exceptional sales of the M1? So I would say this is absolutely true because previous to that, we had the Intel chip uh, MacBooks and that was the old Intel before AMD really came back, really sort of became the mainstream again. Uh, so Intel wasn't really upgrading their chips all that much from year to year. And in fact, uh, in the later stages of the MacBook Pros, we got like the six uh, core uh, chip versions from Intel. And those chips just consumed so much power and required so much cooling that you could barely use the things. Uh, so yes, I would definitely say that it's just a combination of the older Macs on the Intel platform just being way worse than the new Apple Silicon Macs, which obviously got promoted very well. And Apple actually made really good chips. Like the M1 chips were fantastic, eight core chips. They were very power efficient, insane battery life. Uh, so yeah, the thing is people that were gonna upgrade straight away probably just bought the M1 and that's it. And then the other issue is that uh, these systems are actually quite expensive. So this person says, they are more than I can afford. Don't really want to spend more than a thousand pounds. Then you've got to factor in the 400 pounds to upgrade RAM and SSD since you can't do it yourself anymore. And this is absolutely true. So if we look at Apple's website, this is their new Mac mini, which I got actually very excited about when it first came out. I mean, it's 600 bucks. It's a tiny, beautiful looking machine that's also got an 8-core chip that's like very powerful. So like it seems like an insanely great deal. Uh, but then when you actually try to spec it out, uh, there are a few problems. So first of all, the default model has 8 gigs of unified memory. So uh, my 2012 MacBook Air has 4 gigs of RAM and that thing was outdated the day that it came out. Uh, I think 8 gigs of memory is just dumb even if all you're going to be doing is just browsing the web uh i feel a little bit sorry for the m2 max that are going to come with eight gigabytes of memory because you can never expand uh, expand the memory and that's always going to be your bottleneck so it's honestly just sad and then for an eight gig upgrade you gotta pay 200 bucks uh, which I would I would say the 16 gigs uh, should be the minimum that you should get for a machine like this, but 200 bucks is just so it's so much money. I mean, to put it in perspective, for 145 bucks, uh, you can get 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, which is an insane difference. Now, obviously, this is unified memory, so uh, it's basically it's more efficient. It's like closer to the CPU and stuff like that. so. It, it basically just works better. Uh, and uh, you get more performance from that. But of course, there is a drawback. You cannot expand this yourself. And the only option that Apple offers is just insanely pricey. 200 bucks. Like I said, like you are getting 8 gigs of RAM for 200 bucks. And over here, you're getting 64 gigs of DDR4 for 145. So yeah. And then the next thing is storage. So 256 gigs of storage is obviously not a lot. And again, you cannot upgrade these SSDs. Uh, they come soldered to the motherboard, I believe, and they have the T2 chip. Uh, so even so, if if you like, if you experience data loss, uh, your data is gone because, as far as I know, Apple still does not cover data recovery. And even if they do, it's probably quite pricey. And uh, nobody else can recover your data because it's all encrypted and only Apple can decrypt it because they have the uh, keys for the T2 chip. So 
very pricey. I do believe you can boot uh, from an external SSD like just as well. But the thing is, that's way less elegant. And uh, it, it, you know, you're buying an Apple machine. You're kind of buying the elegance uh, of these sorts of things. And then you just have to use an external SSD. It's just, it doesn't make much sense. Like this would be such a wonderful little machine, such a great deal to get if the upgrade options weren't just so crazy overpriced. And lastly, there was no incentive to upgrade from the M1 to M2 for the majority of people. And yeah, I mean, if we look at the benchmarks real quick, so in single core, uh, it's about 10% faster the new chip and in multi-core, it's about 10% faster as well. Uh, so again, do you need to upgrade? Absolutely not. And like I said, most people that were gonna upgrade probably upgraded to the M1 uh, and that's it. And there's no reason if you have an M1 to upgrade to the M2. So that is it for today. And I just uh, also want to mention that there's probably not going to be uh, videos for the next few days. And the reasoning behind that is that tomorrow I'm getting two of my teeth pulled out uh, just for fun. It's not because of my braces or anything. It's I just thought it would be like a fun activity to do. And I thought it would be fun eating like raw egg smoothies and mixed in with spinach, which is what I normally do once a day anyway, but just like all the time. I, I thought it was a pretty fun activity to pay someone like 200 bucks to pull out two of my teeth and then be in pain for a few days. So that's why I'm doing that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully have a nice day and let me know what you think about Apple's new machines because uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was quite excited about the Mac Mini. Uh, it seemed a pretty fun device to have, even if you're a PC guy. Uh, but when you factor in the upgrade costs for a usable machine, it's not nearly as good of a deal anymore.